Let's talk about how to sign up for your CompTIA certification. What up? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about how to sign up for a CompTIA certification so that you can become the man or woman out on these streets, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get into it. All right. The first thing you want to do, you want to visit a website called the CompTIA store. And the link is academic dash store dot CompTIA dot org. I will place a link to this in the description box below, but you're going to want to go to the CompTIA store, ladies and gentlemen. And so this is what the home page is going to look like right here. Going to have all this wonderful information you can read at your own leisure. It's going to tell you about certification vouchers, training, bundle packages, continuing education, some popular certifications that you can try to pay for and all that other wonderful stuff out there, right? So what you want to do, you want to go to the top, you want to click on certification vouchers. All right. Then you just want to click on a certification. So I'm just going to click on ITF plus or IT fundamentals plus right here. And then it's going to take me to this page and then it's going to show me the price of the voucher. Now, I don't know what's up with this price because normally this exam costs $123. Right now they're showing it's price is 76 bucks and I'm not logged into the site. So I don't know if they got some type of sale going on here, but regardless, it's a lot cheaper than what they initially advertised. Let me click on a plus real quick. All right. Oh, see the a plus exam. They got it going for $103 right here. This exam, this voucher is normally $200 and some change by itself. Now I do know this, if you have a student ID, something that says your name at your school dot edu, normally when you create an account through the comp to your store, you will automatically get 50 percent off on the uh, certification exams. So I don't know if they got some type of sale going on, but if you're in the mood looking for looking to try to buy you an exam, it might be a good time for you to jump on this right now. So let's go ahead and click on some of the details. So we'll go ahead and look at the CompTIA A plus one real quick. So here is the CompTIA A plus voucher details. It says this voucher is good for one A plus exam. Now, remember, if you're taking a CompTIA A plus exam, that is a two part test. That means you're going to have to buy two vouchers. Now you can buy one voucher and you can use it to take the hardware or the software. It doesn't matter. But just remember, you're going to have to buy two vouchers if you want to get this certification. And the vouchers from the time they are purchased, they are good for 12 months, ladies and gentlemen. You will have 12 months to utilize these vouchers to go take your certification exams. Let's get down to some more details here. Understand vouchers are non-refundable and non-returnable. It says CompTIA A plus certification requires two exams with one voucher per exam required. One voucher is applicable towards one exam in any A plus series at an authorized CompTIA test service provider. You must pass both A plus exams for the same exam series to achieve the CompTIA A plus certification. So meaning you got to pass the 1001 and the 1002 to get CompTIA A plus certified. It says all vouchers, including any retakes, are valid for 12 months from the date of purchase. Unless otherwise noted, you must register and take your exam prior to the voucher expiration date. Voucher expiration dates cannot be extended under any circumstances. Certification exam retirement dates supersede voucher expiration dates. CompTIA may retire certifications and corresponding exams prior to voucher expiration dates. You need to visit the CompTIA website for certification exam information, including exam launch and retirement dates. Vouchers are country and currency restricted. Additional info, order information will be emailed within three to four hours from purchase. You will receive two emails. The first email will be your order confirmation and the second email will include your exam voucher. The voucher expiration date and voucher terms and conditions. Check spam, junk and promotional folders to redeem your voucher. Redeem your voucher to schedule your CompTIA certification exam on the Pearson View website. So 
those are the details pertaining to these exams right here because we got some more information. So this is just kind of just telling you about the A plus exam. But this is where you would go to buy your vouchers, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, you just click on certification vouchers, click on whichever test you're taking. Let's look at IT fundamentals. Pretty much the same thing over here. Seventy six bucks. Like I say, normally this thing is about 123, but they got it going for 76 right now. It's going to give you the same details. The voucher is going to be good for 12 months, blah, 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 blah. All right. So now we're going to go through the process of actually scheduling your exam on a site called Pearson View. What you're going to do, you're going to go to a website called Pearson View. It'll be home.pearsonview.com. And once again, I will put links in the description box below. First thing you want to do is you want to go click on this link where it says for test takers. You're going to click on that. You're going to click on schedule an exam. You're going to click on that link. It's going to take you to this page right here. You're just going to scroll down going to give you some useful information about all kind of wonderful things going on. You're going to want to click on schedule your exam right here. Then from there, it's going to give you some more useful information. Then it's going to say A to Z program list. You're going to want to click on the letter C for CompTIA. Then from there, it's going to present this drop down list. And then you're going to just scroll until you see CompTIA, which is right here. You're going to select CompTIA. And then from here, you are going to go about either signing in if you already have an account or you're going to create an account. For this part of the video, I'm just going to be showing you guys a bunch of screenshots because some of this stuff requires me to put my personal information in there and I'm not going to be showing you all my personal information. All right. So like I said earlier, you're going to either sign in if you already have an account or you're going to go ahead and create an account. And here's a screen showing you how to sign in. Like I said, if you don't have an account, you're going to go over here and create a web account if you are a new user. After that, you're going to be looking at the dashboard and then it's going to present an option for you to view exams. You're going to click on that button right there. And then from here, you can type in the exam that you're looking for or you just start scrolling down looking for certain exams. In this particular example, I've taken screenshots of the CompTIA IT Fundamentals certification exam. And this is the one that we're gonna focus on just for this demonstration only. All right, so I went through and I found the CompTIA Fundamentals exam and here it is listed right here. The FC0 U-61, that is the latest and greatest CompTIA IT Fundamentals exam. I click on that. Now, here it's gonna ask you, how do you wanna take your exam? So you're gonna have two options that I'm familiar with. I'm not exactly sure what this, I have a private access code is referring to, but you're either gonna be taking this at a local testing center or you're gonna have the option to take it at your house. So we're gonna go through both steps real quick to kind of show you what all this looks like to help you uh, to help you set up your exam. So in this example, we're gonna go through looking at scheduling an exam for a local testing center. You would select local testing center, then you hit the next button. It's gonna ask you the language, obviously English. Well, that's what I speak, but you would select whatever language that you are most comfortable with. You're gonna hit next. Then it's going to show you the exam detail. So it's going to tell you what exam you're taking, the FC0-U61 CompTIA IT Fundamental Certification Exam. It's going to show you the price, $123, and it's going to show you the language that you are taking the exam in, and then you're going to hit next. Then it's going to ask you some information regarding as to whether or not you are a veteran using some government benefits like your post 9-11 bill. If you do use those benefits, you're going to hit yes. And then it's going to ask you to input some more information. If not, you're just going to check no and then hit next. From there, it's going to ask you to input your address. And then from there, it's going to populate the closest testing centers to where you currently live. And they will be displayed down here. It will give a list of names and then it will actually show you the distance from whatever residence that you uh, typed in up here to where the closest testing center is to you. And then you would just select whatever testing center that you want. And it says you can select up to three test centers to compare the availability. And after you select the testing center, it's going to ask you to select a date. Now, here is where you might run into some issues due to all of the things that are taking place in the world concerning social distancing. So normally you would go here. It will have a bunch of dates for you to pick. You would select the date, select the time, then go through the motions of paying for your certification and booking your appointment. But over here, well, 
it's not presenting me any options. So I think I did a screenshot for why can't I find an available appointment? And I did. And this is the window that's going to populate. It's going to say the test center chosen has no available appointment times or is not open. Select a different test center. The exam delivery dates are not available. Check for check another month. The exam authorization window is not applicable for the month being searched or the exam may be available for delivery at your home or office through OnView. Consider selecting a different delivery option. OnView is going to be the online testing. So with this particular exam, I believe they're only offering this thing online due to all the social distancing taking place out there. All right. So with that being said, now we're going to go back and do the at home testing or the at home office options that they have presented right here. So if you select at home office, it's going to tell you this right here. It says, are you going to be testing on this device and network? If so, you're going to have to run a pre-check to verify compatibility of your device and network before planning to take this exam in your home or office. If you skip, be sure to do a full system test before the day, before test day to avoid lost exam fees and launch delays. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to hit the run the pre-checks and then this window is going to pop up right here and it's just going to test your microphone, your internet speed and your webcam. At the time I was taking these screenshots, I didn't have my microphone plugged in. That's why I got a big X right here. But if I did, then and, you know, whether you're using your iPhone microphone or I'm using this thing right here, whatever mic you're using, you're going to have to get a green in order for you to be fully compatible. And then you would just hit the rerun button and bam, you should be good to go. After you do that, it's going to ask you to agree to some online exam policy. So you're going to get a couple paragraphs here that you're going to have to read or scan through and then select the check boxes so that you can proceed. After you do all that, we're going to get back to the options that we already saw. It's going to ask you to select the language. It's going to tell you the price and the exam and what language you're taking uh, the exam in. It's going to ask you if you're a vet or not. And then it's going to ask you to select the date so over here. You just select whatever dates are not grayed out. And then it also says to avoid any issues on exam day, we recommend checking into your exam 30 minutes before the scheduled start time. This allows optimal preparedness, but does not guarantee an early admittance or start time. I would say check in at least 45 minutes to an hour early. That way you can make sure everything is good to go. Your computer's up and running. You got good internet. You told the wife, the husband, the kids, or the brother, the sisters, and the dogs to get out, give you your peace so you can do your thing up in here. Make sure everything is good to go because what's going to happen is if you miss this exam time, guess what? Your voucher is bye-bye. You don't get another one. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going to have to... <laughs> You're going to want to make sure that you make this appointment and do not forfeit this voucher for any reason or whatever. After you do all that, you select a day. It's going to ask you to select a time morning, afternoon. It's going to present a bunch of stuff, change the times. You can show them in the, the uh, 24 hour time. And then it's going to say it's going to take you to your cart. So over here, it's going to say, hey, you got this exam. It's going to be taken in this language. This exam is X amount of minutes long. This is the day. This is the time. You can change the appointments at this point if you want. And this is the price. Or you could just totally remove this thing altogether. And then you have the option to add another exam if you want to add another exam. You're going to scroll down on that same window. Then it's going to give you your confirmation, contact information, your name, your telephone. You can edit all that stuff up. It's going to tell you the price of the exams. You're going to go to proceed to check out down here. Then it's going to pop up this window that you're going to have to agree. It's going to tell you to comp to your testing policies. It says uh, admission policy. Please note this exam is proctored in English only. There is an option for there is not an option for a local language proctoring at this time. It says before the exam says visit the comp to your online proctoring page and review information on exam policies and procedures, system requirements and system tests. Complete the required system tests from the same computer and in the same location you'll be using on exam day. Corporate firewalls often cause issues while trying to take your exam. Please consider taking your exam in a setting without a corporate firewall. So try to take it at home if you can. But then it says review the identification requirements below. All right, so here's some of the ID requirements. So basically, you're going to have to show at least one valid form of unexpired government issued personal ID. The government issued ID must have your signature and a photo. So here are some examples. You're going to have to have a valid unexpired passport, driver's license, military ID, some type of national or local ID or registration card, such as a green card, a visa, permanent resident. You're going to need to actually show that to the proctor. 
Then here's some other information pertaining to minors who are going to be taking the test. So for candidates who are 17 years of age and under, please note that the minor must have guardian authorization for each testing event. In addition, the minor must have a single form of photo ID, such as a school ID, and the guardian must be present during the check-in process and willing to show a proper government-issued ID. So the stuff that we just talked about now here is the important stuff for exam day that you need to focus on the day you take your exam you're going to log into this account right here pearson www.pearsonview.com slash comptia dot slash on view you're going to click on your scheduled exam under purchased online exams you're going to click begin exam and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the check-in process once you have completed the check-in process you will be contacted by a proctor to begin your exam now please note that you are required to have a clean and clutter free workstation during check-in the proctor will ask you to perform a room and desk scan using your webcam and will inspect any materials near your website so make sure you have a clean desk with nothing but your computer on it for the most part that's it no notes no sticky tabs no nothing they are going to want you to take that webcam and scan the desk and scan make sure you don't have anything on your walls because if you get caught cheating guess what your voucher's gone and you failed the test and you got to do this whole process all over again. All right. So after you do all of that, it's going to take you to the enter payment and billing page. and It's going to show you exactly how much the exam costs. Now, this is where you are going to enter your voucher number. So whatever your voucher number is that came to you in the email, you're going to put that number up in here or some type of promotion code. But we're just going to assume you got a voucher. And once you hit apply, it's going to erase this price. Is it or it's going to change it. So let's just say you got a voucher to cover the whole hundred and twenty three dollars. You hit the code. Bam, this thing turns to zero. Or if you got a voucher saying that you get the, the uh, exam for 50 percent off, this thing will turn to whatever one hundred and twenty three divided by two is about sixty something dollars. Right. You hit apply. And then from there, it's just going to ask you to input your purchase, your credit card information. Assuming you have a balance that you have to pay. So like I said, over here, if you got it for 50% off, you put the exam code in, and then next thing you know, this thing changes to like 60 bucks. Go to this page where you're just gonna have to pay $60 into your credit card information and all that great, wonderful stuff, and then hit next. And after you hit next, you booked your exam and you are on your way. And just to reiterate, the day you go take your exam, this is what this is where you're going to go. You're going to go to pearsonview.com slash comp to you slash on view. And these are the steps that you need to take so that you can take your exam. Like I said, please try to check in 45 minutes to an hour early. I know they say 30 minutes, but just give yourself a little wiggle room to make sure everything is nice and clean. Nobody's bothering you. Your system is fully functional. Your Internet is good to go so that you can take this exam without any problems whatsoever. Because if you miss this exam time, guess what? You just your voucher is gone and you have to go through the entire process again and pay for this exam or get another voucher somehow, some way so that you can get this certification. All right. So before we go, there's one final page that you guys want to go check out. You want to go check out the CompTIA candidate testing policies. You can do a simple Google search for CompTIA candidate testing policies and it's going to give you some extra information pertaining to whether or not you have a disability and if special accommodations could be made for you whether or not english is a second language for you and if they can make accommodations for you how they go about scoring the exam the content of the exam the retesting whether or not you need to provide a photograph rescheduling and the cancellation policy cancellation policy is very important it says you must contact pearson view and at least a minimum of 24 hours prior to your exam appointment. Canceling or failing to appear for an exam will result in the forfeiture of your exam fee. So you need to, if you plan on canceling for any reason, you need to do it 24 hours before or else it is what it is. You're going to have to pay for this whole thing all over again, ladies and gentlemen. And that's for rescheduling as well. So like I say, go visit this web page, Candidate Testing Policies, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest so that you can go out there and successfully pass whatever certification exam that you are taking. All right. And there we have it, folks. We just went over how to buy a CompTIA voucher. 
and then how to go about the process of scheduling your exam through Pearson View, whether you are going to a local testing center or you are doing it online. You have all the information you need to go out there and be successful at this. Just please be mindful of certain things when it comes to making sure your system is up to date so that you can take the test online and be mindful of these rescheduling and these cancellation policies so that you do not lose your money, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So with that being said, if you got a comment, please drop it below so we all can read your feels. Also, please like, share and subscribe to this channel if you feel you got something great out of this. And also visit my website, Technology G, for more information on a plethora of things pertaining to entry level IT. In addition to my IT fundamentals course that I have up there for free. You can go check that out so you can get it cracking out in these streets. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.